Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Friday to everybody. Welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. <laughs> and welcome to part four of Pam and Paul's. We're going to get Pam's side of the cottage complete today. We have got two bedrooms to furnish and then we're going to move on to Paul's next week. Now, I'm not going to be getting a video out on Monday. I know, I've been very bad lately, but I just want to put my all into my um, save file, the Willow Creek save file, and then I'm going to release that save file on Tuesday. So I know you'll understand. I know you'll understand it. It'll be fine. And then what we'll do is we'll continue on with Paul's Cottage next week. And also there'll be some more um, Potter project next week as well. So we've got a save file. We've got a couple of Let's Build the Worlds and we've got a pop, 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 pop. A Potter project coming next week too. Um, now, with Pam's cottage, I've been player testing it a lot just to see how it works and whatnot. I've had to change a few things around, only slightly, just because she was having struggles to try and cook and various other things. So, I've, I've, yeah, I had to change it around. I had to change it around, but I'll show you that in just a sec anyway. So, yes, that's it. Without further ado, let's get into game. Let's stop building and um, we'll finish off Pam's cottage. Well, here we are, my darlings. Back at Pam and Paul's. Pam and Paul. Paul and Pam. <laughs> whatever. Well, absolutely whatever. That, do you know what's infuriating me? I don't like them there anymore. I've decided against it. It just looks weird having two window boxes there. I had to move the section of this as well. Um, because it was stopping Pam from going into her house. So that had to change, which was a bit fuming. Is that going to be weird when I put the walls down? No, it's all right. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, that's cute. Do like it. I'm into it. Into it. So things changing. Um, we've gave Pam an ashtray. Because she, I reckon she sits out here, smokes, watches the world go by. Some matches there as well to strike it. To strike her ciggies. I can just imagine her with, a, with an... <laughs> With a cigarette in her hand as well. <laughs> All right, my hello, my handsome. It's very Cornish, my handsome. Um, what else changed in here today? I've put in more details. Look at these two. Look at them. They're out there watching a film together. Bless, bless. Pam, you need to watch your legs there, darling. You're showing your pasty off. I've also changed that lamp as well. I just wasn't feeling it. Put a little chick in there, a little photo up there. I moved the throw box from here and I put a, like a magazine and... um magazine magazine and remote holder um uh little crafty bits i reckon pam does a little bit of knitting in her spare time this all works as well they can get behind here and use this quite easily which i was a bit worried about but they can um i put a plant in the corner there we've got a radiator out kitchen wise i had to change this around a little bit because they all had cottage pie it was bloody adorable pam cooked a cottage pie for imogen and paul um Bo was nowhere to be seen i didn't know where she was um so I had to move this little teapot just because it looked weird. It looked cramped on there. Um, so that had to change. And also this had to change over here. If you remember rightly, we had like a window there last time. And we had that big cupboard there. There just wasn't enough working space in here. Because what I did is made Imogen and Pam cook a cottage pie together. And they just didn't have the room in here. I've had to put the pans up there as well. Main reasons being they were unusable when they were up there. They wouldn't use... Um, the side for some reason or was it here i don't remember one of the sides not too sure and i had to shuffle all of like the things around a little bit um and that's it that's it that's just a few things that had to change everything else is working very lusciously um and i'm for it really for it so today what we're going to be doing is doing pam's bedroom here and the spare bedroom here as well so i reckon i'm going to put like a single bed in here i reckon i'm going to do i no, do you know what? I want a double bed just in case Imogen and Bo do want to both stay over together for some reason. Um, I'm going to do a double bed in here. It might be a bit of a tight squeeze. I mean, that's what they always say about me, but you know. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's not it's not time for that, Aiden. We've just started the video and you've already disgraced yourself in front of the nation. Moving on. Anyway, so bed. I'm thinking that wrought iron frame bed from the cottage living pack yes i am a date um this one here uh, and i'm i'm gonna use it in the black frame i think i'm just hoping that they've got a better um swatch 
That would match him with his room a little bit better. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, je ne sais quoi faire. Oh, it goes with the blinds. It goes with that. Oh, oh, for it. Absolutely for it. I'll put a radiator up here as well, just in case she gets a little bit cold. Even though she's got a massive big roaring fire, sometimes it's a bit annoying to set a fire up just to have it on and then keep an eye on it. I know that from personal experience because I do have a fire in my house. And it's just a little bit annoying sometimes. It's lovely. Nothing like a fire, loves. Nothing like an open fire in your living room. The, they had it right. All those people um, had it right. They did. They had it right. They really, really did. Now we need some bedside tables. Um, probably going to go for something a little bit dated like this. And I'm going to mix up the wood tones in here. I am. Someone called me out yesterday. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. What were we changing again? We were changing something. It was a wood tone down here. I can't remember what it was, but it just wasn't, it, and I had to change it because <laughs> I was like, no, what matching wood turn, wood, we're mixing up all the wood turns in this house. And then I saw that one. I was like, oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not indeed. Right now. Oh, do you know what would look good? I've just had a, an epiphany. I saw one of you guys said, why don't you use the Tiffany lamp downstairs? I tried the Tiffany lamp, but it just wouldn't work. So I changed it for that one with the tassels. Just thought that was a vibe. So I'm thinking maybe we could use the Tiffany lamp in the bedroom because we've got wrought iron, like a black iron bed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But what color, though? Let's um get them both down. And let's have a little, little, a little look at the the colors that we've got going on here. Um, uh, I kind of liked that peachy one. Where was that? That was the one that we already put down. I kind of like that one, to be honest. But then I also liked that one that we just had, this one. No, that's not, I don't know, maybe. I mean, it's not much difference, Aiden. I think that one, actually. Yeah, we'll go for that one. What one was that one? Who are you? That one. Yeah, that's right. That's stunning, that. I'm for it. Very much for all that. Very much indeed. Um, We need a laundry basket here, considering we have... I am going to be putting washing machines in nearly every house. Well, every house is going to have a washing machine and a clothesline. Some of them have a washer and dryer. But I'm going to make that apparent because it is a very British thing to have your washing machines and your tumble dryers um, in the kitchen. Not always. Some people are bougie and have their own utility rooms. Tories. I'm joking. <laughs> but, um, but, um, but yeah, not this house. This is far too, far too small for, uh, um, tumble dryer as well. I mean, they're not made of money, loves. Bloody hell. They're not made of bloody money. Right, there we go. Yeah, a bit of that. A bit of that. One of those. Stunning. Plop you in a little bit more like that, though, to be honest. Yeah, little laundry basket moment there. I wouldn't mind some... Oh, oh maybe I could put that in a hallway somewhere. I was thinking, like, using that, like, linen cupboard. I love this object. Oh, yes. You are going out here. Yes, you fucking are indeed, darling. I'm going to flop you there. Do I want to keep it in that colour? I mean, that looks cute in that colour. I can't put it anywhere else. That's the only spot I can go. And I don't mind that. This is going to be cramped anyway. Most cottages in the UK are kind of cramped. Um, I mean, I could have a little fun colour going on. I mean, that's pretty cute as well. I do like that one. Yellow's a bit too yellow. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go for that green. I'm going to go for that green vibe. And then maybe here I can do a little hall table. Maybe. Maybe. Who can say? Anyway, so we need wardrobes. This is probably where we're going to struggle. I just noticed how... I was like, glittery. I'm still glittery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've no idea what that was. No idea what that was. I've just drew my, drew my curtains and put my top light on to try and... But I'm glittery for some reason. Touched by an angel. You know, it's just the way it's got to be. Anyway, what I was saying, she loves a bit of slap. Loves a bit of slap. If you're unsure what slap is, it's a little, um, mm, little bit of slang for some makeup in certain areas of the UK. We do like to say it down in the Southwest. Um, well, at least me and my friends do. So she does. Loves a bit of slap. Now I'm thinking... That chair from the paranormal, this one here would work well in here. If we can get a decent swatch. Um, I could probably just go dark brown with it, to be honest with you. All white. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be the vibe. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm feeling that. 
absolutely feeling that. So yes, a bit of slap. I do want to get some cluttery objects down on that, but we'll do that in a minute. I want to make sure I've got everything kind of fit in here perfectly. You know what I want to do down here? It almost needs like some kind of storage box. I wish we had just had some more storage, like lovely boxes. Not the ones that came with the Dream de Home Decorator. Um, but do you know what I mean? That vibe? Right, if I put a wardrobe there, they're not going to be able to go through there. That's the only problem. Um, hmm, I need to think. All it needed was a light shuffle. Um, I didn't even have this bed centralised to the fireplace anyway. I mean, it's a bit squiffy now. But um, I think I'm going to use this. I don't know if I want it there just yet. And I want to use a ward. I do want a wardrobe in this room. But I just don't know what wardrobe to use. Because a lot of them are just very, well, awful. You know, there's no other two ways about it. We don't really have a lot of wardrobes, do we, really? Considering we have like 19,000 picnic benches, we don't have a lot of wardrobes that aren't um, awful. Now, the one I tend to go for when I'm using cottagey builds is this one here. I'm just wondering if I could use this in this room. Uh, I think I could, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can. But my thoughts were, like, can I, like, put this, like, there? Oh, I think we could. And then with all the wardrobe there i could put a plant down there couldn't i or something because i do want a chair in this room as well i do want a chair in this room that looks really great in the window there i love that in the window um the more i'm looking at this though the more i'm unsure about the color of that so maybe we'll go for a white wardrobe as well that's better yeah i do i do much enjoy that i do well like we're not worrying about wood tones let's change it right away <laughs> i think it's fine yeah then no, that's cool I do like it. Um, no, I'm not going to put a plant in there. I think what I'm going to think what I'm going to use is that um, not content. My love packs. That lovely, yeah, this one. I'm going to put you in there, just so we've got a little bit of decoration in the corner. Oh, that looks a bit cramped now. What about if I put the wardrobe on this side instead? Let me see if I can just. Let me just see. Let me just see. Oh, I prefer that. Oh, I do. I prefer how that looks. Yes. Yes. I'm going to leave you there, though. And we can still put a plant in that corner. Yes, we won't be able to use a chair now. But maybe I could fit a chair over. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I could put there. Nothing's stopping me. I could put a little chair there, to be honest with you. That might happen. Anyway, what we need now is a plant in that corner. So, um, just something really simple. Oh, maybe a bit of pampas grass. I would see Pam being a bit of a pampas grass. Or we could have like a big dangly moment in here from the new pack. Now that's a bit too much for in here. If, what about if I size that down? Ah, oh, that's nice. I do like that. I think we're going to change the plant um, colour though. There's a lighter one. I think that lighter green would just look a little bit better in here. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah, we'll use that one because it kind of matches in with the wallpaper. Oh, the vibes. Darlings. Vibes. <laughs> Absolute vibes. Right. And then I'm going to put a chair on here. Probably, yes. I was about to say, probably the one from Cottage Living as well. And maybe I'm going to pull a bit more green in here as well. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the stripey one. Unless they've got that flowery one, haven't they? The green flowery one. It's more blue though, isn't it? That one It's more blue based. Yeah, no, that's a shame. That would have looked nice. Now we're going to go for the green stripes. We're going to go for the green stripes. Uh, I was going to tilt it, but what I'm going to do instead is just leave it in that position, just so it looks like she could get in there and sort of dust her ornaments and stuff, you know? Yeah, I'm feeling that vibe. She should be able to get in here no problem as well and um, use this wardrobe. That should be no problem whatsoever. No problem. I think what I need in here is some scott. We're going to put sconces up here. With that, I'm going to have to take down this whole wall to be able to do that. So we'll do that in a sec. In fact, let me do that off of camera. And I'm also going to pull out loads of stuff to sort of decorate around like rugs and pictures and whatnot. Okay, I've pulled out a few beautiful objects. I'm going to flop this one down here. This is a little storage unit. This is where Sa um, Sam, Pam, this is where Pam keeps all of her dirty lingerie and her sex toys locked away just in case she has one of her naughty parties 
uh, <laughs> um, amongst other trinkets and stuff in their memory boxes, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, I think we're going to put up some lotions and potions up there. Lotions and potions, and I'm also going to get this up on top of here as well, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to use the tool mod, but I probably will be. Oh, no, I don't, I don't have to. Take that back, love. Take that back. We're going to flop that on the corner there. Just stuff that she hasn't put away yet. You know what we're all like. I've got a pile of laundry out there. Clean laundry that I haven't put away yet. Anybody else like that? Just can't be asked. Can't be asked. Just put it outside my room. <laughs> can't be asked. Too busy. Not asked. You can stay there for a while. Um, Little lamp in the corner as well. I just think we need a little bit of light over here. So I'm going to use that base game lamp in the corner i've also decorated the top of this as well a few books maybe a jug of water for night time she gets a bit thirsty at night after drinking all of that alcohol and this here i reckon imogen made this when she was a kid um and um i reckon pam's just held on to it for all of those years yes i do now i was thinking this one this is where she comes and gets ready for a night out and i didn't even know that this comes in new swatches now the base game update, I did not even realise that it made this come in new swatches. Um, oh, yes, I don't have to use the tool mod there either. Beautiful. So maybe Pam d listens to a bit of music while she's getting ready. You know how it would go, don't you? You know. I kind of like the gold one. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. And I think to finish it off, maybe just a picture above the bed. I didn't look for one. So we'll look for one together. Just like a nice landscapey moment. One thing I was a bit annoyed about with cottage living, um, even when I was building for it, um, was the fact that we didn't get many paintings. I would have loved to have seen more paintings with that pack. Some more like landscape pictures and and we didn't get any of that. We didn't get any of that good stuff. I was very I was a bit annoyed about it actually. And I wish I voiced that when I was um doing it, but I didn't. I didn't. And I'm very ashamed of myself now because I think it would have been a perfect pack or some really nice paintings. It really would have. Yeah, just something like that above the bed. Oh, this is cute. Oh, the vibes I'm getting in here, loves. I'm feeling it. Now, I had to get rid of one of those plates, those hanging plates from the kitchen because we shuffled it around. So I might put a couple of hanging plates up in the bedroom instead now then. Yeah, there they are, look. Why don't we plop them up in that little space that I was just looking at? Where are you? There we are. Like just above there. Pam's prized plates. Maybe these were Pam's mum's or something. Pam's mum's favourite plates. Um, and Pam's mum was a character as well. Pam's mum was a character. I'm also... I got a really good idea off of you guys. We need to give Pam a kind of partner in crime. Like a best mate. They've grown up together through school. Like they are each other's like backbones. They finish each other's sentences. So we definitely will be making... Pam's best mate and I'm thinking about putting her on that row that I was saying where Imogen is going to live putting her in a little cottage up there I'm thinking about doing that thinking about doing that darlings um so we'll do yeah we will we will do that such a great idea so thank you to that person who said that because I loved it nice bedroom I'm here for that I really am really am we'll move on to the spare bedroom now um should we have a look at a bed together did the pack come with any single beds i don't remember i don't really remember that let me have a little look no it was just the one double again disappointing but maybe i could use this one i know it's a little bit oh if i remember rightly though the swatches on this are absolutely ghastly yeah they are oh, bloody awful oh i mean that one there wasn't too bad but it's still I don't know. I kind of like that. And then we're still sticking with that kind of like wrought iron bed. Has anybody got a wrought iron bed out there? Is it noisy? Like for any kind of reason? Um, I've always wondered with them. Never had one myself. But they always strike me as being really squeaky when you get in them and stuff. And that would piss me off. <laughs> that, would, <laughs> that would piss me off. If I had someone squeaking getting into the bloody bed. Especially if you didn't know them, you know? Especially if you didn't know them. Um, I'm thinking about actually putting a computer in here. I think I'm going to use that single desk. We need some more single desks as well. I'd love to see some more single desks in this um, uh, in this game. I very much would because we're very limited. Look at the lighting on that. That's disgusting. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is flop you in here. I don't think I'm going to use you in a white though. God, that lighting is so bad back here. 
Um, I think I'm going to go into debug and get some debug lighting out for here. Um, let me go into lighting. So let me just remind you guys, you won't see these lights in game when you go to download this lot, but they will be there. And uh, debug, a debug. Here we go. And then maybe I could put one. Like, oh God, it's a bit bright that, a bit bright. Just a small little scene in one. To be, oh God, no, absolutely not. Ambient lighting. That's more than fucking ambient lighting, darling. That is fucking lighting for your soul. Maybe I could turn that down. Oh, God, that looks disgusting. We'll just use a lamp. <laughs> we'll just use a lamp. And I think I'm going to use a laptop anyway. So she can go and sit and um, play. Her. I reckon she's online on those bingo forums. <laughs> I reckon Pam loves a bingo forum. She does indeed. Uh, I'm unsure if I'm going to be using this though. Let me see if I can like. Yeah, mix up the wood tone a bit. Right, let me see if I can light this up a little bit better. Give me one sec. Right, I have hit a wall light behind the desk. And it's kind of lit it up a bit better. But the game engine is an absolute bumhole sometimes. Um, And yeah, it just doesn't like lighting, to be honest with you. Now, double bed. Completely forgot about it, didn't I? Completely forgot about it. So I flopped into double bed in here. And we've gone for that pink vibe in here. So it's a bit a bit garish in here, but I'm all for it. Pam loves it, and that's all that matters, isn't it, to be honest with you? So they might have to shuffle across and get in that way, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine, you know? Now, I don't know if to use this dresser again in here. I'm just going to do one dresser in here. I'm not going to do a wardrobe. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that dresser, but... Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, we can do two of these as well. Can I fit them in this bit? I mean, that is cutting in already there, isn't it? No, that's fine. Oh, go on, squeeze in. That's what she said. Stop that. Stop that indeed. Look at the lighting there as well. What's the difference between there and there? What is the difference? Seriously. I can't bear it sometimes, really can. <laughs> um, I think actually I'm going to use just one then. I'm just going to use one and I'm going to flop it there instead. Flop it there and then I can do like a little bench there. And maybe a mirror. Yeah, that could be cute. Maybe a mirror. And then maybe just a couple of paintings or something up on the side here. Or I could do a mirror there, actually. In fact, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a full-length mirror. Oh, that one, that wall-leaning one. Would love to see some more wall-leaning mirrors in the game as well. Some really nice ones. Other, rather than just this one, because I'm getting fed up with using that one. I really am. Right, and we're going a bit light in here. So I'm going to mix up the wood tones a bit. I know, shocking, but I'm going to do it. Where's the? They've got some colours here, haven't they? Oh, yeah, a pink one. Nice. What, what did you come in again? Oh my god, I've never, never really gone through this. Oh, I know why I haven't gone through the swatches. Because they're disgusting. Um, maybe a green? No, that's a bit too much. That is way a bit too... Oh god, no. Absolutely not to you. That is why I haven't been through the swatches then. Because they're all ghastly. Right, we're going to use that one. Beautiful. We do need to put a chair here as well. Uh, and I'm probably going to use just an office chair, to be honest with you. Um... We'll probably just use a simple office chair. Maybe one like that. Oh, I'll camp with that one because the colours once again. I get put off so many objects in The Sims because of the swatches. How bad is that? That's so bad. Praying that they go for a colour wheel and not swatch-based system for The Sims 5. I think they would have heard as many moans from us as possible. Um, so hopefully, you know, they learn from that. And hopefully, I'm going to say it, hopefully they learn not to bring the Sims 5 base game the same, the same way as what the Sims 4 base game came. Because that was shocking. Shocking. Anyway, so I can't find a chair. Let me find one. Decided against an office chair. It would just, I don't know, just looked weird in here. So I reckon she's using an old dining set. Maybe this was from her original dining table and she kept it because it's got a cushion on. And it's all right, comfy wise to sit and play bingo. Play bingo on it. Do you know what I mean? She loves a bit of bingo. Loves a bit of bingo. I haven't been bingo in years. I don't know about you lot, but I've not been in bloody years. Um, I want to put some storage boxes back there. Oh, a bread bin. Oh, that would look so good downstairs. See, I forgot about that. Where can we flop you, darling? Oh, we've kind of we're kind of cramped. What about at the back there? Can I whiffle you into shape there? Oh no. I know what I'm gonna do. Come here. Come hither, darling. Don't you dare. Don't you dare snap to that counter. I know you want to. I can feel it. Feel it in your bones. Oh! 
There you go. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Little bread bin. Got distracted then by a bread bin. And um, what was I doing? <laughs> I was trying to put boxes up here, wasn't I? I just want a couple of boxes. Is that too big? Nah. Yeah, maybe that kind of vibe. Maybe these have got like old photos and stuff in. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do. Oh, God, there's one there. Didn't even see that. Good job, I saw. Good job, I went and did that then. All right, we're going to put you there. And that. No, not on the top, you piece of shit. Over this way. Did it go up the top? It didn't. Right. Um, so round about there. Oh, God. Pivot. Pivot indeed. Right, I think that might be okay. Let's check. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Old memories back there, love. I reckon her wedding ring and stuff is in there as well. Things that will probably remind her of her husband is a little bit painful to look at. So she's kind of hidden away, you know? Feeling that vibe. I am sad, but I'm feeling it. Right. And then a, a mirror up here, I think. I would like like an old looking, yeah, like that kind of vibe going. We have got two mirrors in here now, though. Uh, yeah, no, that's not the vibe. Not the vibe. Let me go and pull out a few more objects that's going to just bring this room together, I think. One sec. Okay, completed it. Completed it. Just pulled out a bit more stuff. A bit more storyline vibes, loves. Imogen used to have bad dreams. So I'm just going to pretend that this is a nice dream catcher that uh, Pam bought for her to stop those dreams from happening. I reckon these were Imogen's old like pictures as well. Obviously, she was a bit of a punk rocker even back in her childhood. So... I reckon she's kept these pictures nicely here too. We've put a nice rug down, a little chair here as well. And I thought just some more storage, some more clothing. Maybe these are spare clothes of Imogen's that she's got here when she needs it if she does stay over. A little clock on top of this table. And then out here, I just put a nice little end table. Or well, a hall table with a bunch of flowers on, to be honest with you. Um, and I also put a clock in here as well. Also put a clock in here. I just thought that suited that room nicely. And what should I do over here? Oh, yeah. I managed... I forgot about this. So I definitely want this on Paul's side of the building. Um, I just think that's nice. Just that nautical vibe that we've got going through. So, um, lovely. This is Pam's house. I'm going to give you a little quick tour of this. So, obviously, this is the exterior. This is Pam's little cottage. The exterior goes all the way around here. Big old chimney breast. Um, she's got a little courtyard garden out here. That noise. Did anybody hear that noise? I'm sure I heard a weird noise in the background. There's nothing, there's no one in my room. Ghosts. Probably didn't even hear it. Anyway, so, Pam's back courtyard garden. Cloves, bit of um, planting barbecue area it's got a little outside privy in there as well so she can have a wee outside so that'd be glorious um kitchen complete with everything just very nice and cozy and cottagey beautiful coming around here as well little dining table there as well that's all usable too i've made sure as i said to play a test it into the living room where they're all here having a jolly old time um yeah just a nice little living room nice little cottage living room Complete with everything that Pam would need to keep her comfy, to keep her warm. Beautiful. And then obviously up the stairs, there's a toilet and well, uh, the full bathroom, the only bathroom in the house in here. Um, this is all um, player tested as well. So you'll be able to use that too. Um, up the stairs, we've got the hallway going here. A little linen cupboard there. Beautiful. Into the spare bedroom. Um, so yeah, as that's what we just did. I don't need to go over too much of what we just did in there. And then obviously into Pam's bedroom as well. So this is Pam's little cottage got. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm full that. Bless Pam. Bless Pam indeed. But um, but yes, lovely. Very happy with that. Now, as I said, I will be back on Tuesday. And we will um oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be back with this on no, I won't actually. We'll be back with this on Wednesday. Back with this on Wednesday. But Wednesday, Thursday, we'll complete Paul's house. We'll complete Paul's house. I might even make a little start on it just so we can get this build done next week. Um, and then we can move on to another build around the world. Um, so, yes, very excited about that indeed. Very excited. Now, 
I'm going to leave you in this screen as well. Thank you so much, my dears, for this week. It's been really, really fun on the channel this week. Not that it isn't always, but I just love starting something new with you lot. It's so exciting. Um, have the loveliest weekend. I will be back on Tuesday with the Willow Creek save file overview video. So keep an eye out for that, my loves. Um, but yeah, have a lovely weekend. Goodbye.